Another really solid performance from you. And I want to rewind to a hard practice right before Lindenwood. And Coach Pope, he told us, he said, I called out Noah. I was really hard on him. And he responded in such a great way. And he was really proud of you. That has continued over to today. How were you able to compartmentalize that and use that as motivation? Um, yeah, well, honestly, so at my last school, uh, I would get yelled at a lot. And that would really motivate me because that's how I just react uh, when people like yell at me because I know what he's really saying behind his yells. Um, and it just really motivated me to play a good game last game. And then this game, he asked me, he was like, do I have to get on you like that again? And I said, no, coach, like, you're good, relax, like, I'll, I'll play today. And he's like, all right. So uh, it just really helped me. What was the best thing that you thought your team accomplished tonight other than beating Weber State? Um, it was definitely shutting them down uh, at the three-point line. We did really well on them at the three-point line. And right now, they're, like, one of the hottest teams in the country at the three. They're, like, as a team, shooting, like, 50% or something crazy like that. So we really locked in on that uh, during shoot-around and practice, our one practice we had. Um, and I think we did a good job. How is your role evolving? And how would you explain what your specific role is at this point? Um, I'm just coming out and I'm just going to do everything that coach wants me to do. Like he got on me a little bit about rebounding. So I'm going to go out there. I'm going to try to get every rebound. Uh, he got on me a little bit, a little bit about my driving uh, selection. And when I didn't play off two feet and then anytime I drive the lane, I'm going to play off two feet. So whatever they need me to do and the team needs from me to win, I'm going to do it. Without question, this game was super chippy and, and emotional. How do you keep your emotions in check and not let them spin out of control? Um, you know, it, it all goes back to when I was real little playing with my brothers. You know, we always had arguments and like that. So I think uh, um, from that, it really just taught me how to deal with the chippiness at this level. So you've won five games in a row as a team. You're now 10 and five. It's a far cry from how you felt when you were five and five. So how have or what has changed most of all for your team in this five game win streak? Um, it's really just not worrying about the losses and just coming in every day just to get better. Coach tells us all the time, like, we got to come in every day and not worry about the losses. We got to learn from the losses and just grow as a team. And then if we do that, we're going to be a very good team at the end of the year. So where do you feel like BYU still needs to grow the most as you move into West Coast Conference play? Um, I think we can improve a little bit everywhere, honestly. Uh, rebounding, our defense is getting a lot better, but I think that can improve a lot too. Coach talks all, all the time about guard your yard. Uh, so that means, like, don't let your man go by you um, and just stay in front of him. And I think we've done good uh, in these past games, and we just got to keep, uh, keep improving. How are you going to celebrate Christmas now? I think you get a couple of days off. So what, what's going to happen over Christmas? I'm going back to New York to chill with the family. So that's going to be great. Enjoy the time in New York. And uh, we'll see you back here in about a week for West Coast Conference play. Thanks, Noah. Appreciate it. No.